first of all, great case for bubble and Australian housing. What are the best kind of ideas or ways to capitalize on on you know this bubble? And you know, one question is about whether the Aussie dollar might be a way to you know take advantage of the deflation. Are there other ways that you know you think you know, yeah. for somebody that's not probably a hedge fund manager with the, the ability to play derivatives and all that, mm -hmm. like you know, how does the not average Joe, but somebody that's probably managing their own money play this? Yeah. So. Um you know, we're not a foreign exchange, or I'm not a foreign exchange analyst, but um, I mean, I, I think it, it's pretty obvious that um, the Australian dollar is sort of a uh, kind of a very obvious, well, to me, it's a very obvious uh, short. Um, I think ultimately uh, Australia is going to have to print a lot of money uh, in order to get out from under this problem that's coming down the pike. Uh, so I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I think the RBA is going to have to cut rates very significantly. Um, so, yeah, it's just it's hard to fathom a scenario under which the Australian do dollar can stay even close to where it's at. Um, and I think as far as, you know, the, the challenge with this um, is that unlike in the U.S. where there were just so many different companies that sort of swarmed around uh, the housing uh, finance sector, there's just a, a, a much smaller, much narrower uh, group in Australia. Yep. And so outside of the banks, there really just aren't that many opportunities. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I don't have sort of great simple ways to play it other than just by you know, looking at uh, downside in the big banks. Okay. Josh, a question very dear to many's hearts. For Australian millennials looking to buy their own home and being left out in the cold for the last decade, do you see an opportunity if we were patient for the next year or a couple of years? Absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. guess there's a you know analogy to what happened in the U.S. where you know in 2009, 2010, you had literally an epic opportunity to to buy a house at in most markets highly discounted prices. Yeah, you sure did, and um, you know so that's exactly right. I think you're going to have a um, sort of a generational opportunity. Uh, to buy a very cheap home in a desirable area in Australia. Um, you know, I, I think that as things sort of, you know, heat up and feed on themselves, you know, for instance, in uh, the U.S., home prices nationally fell by a third. Um, and in certain markets that were obviously the hottest markets, places like Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix and Las Vegas, uh, home values were down by more than half. Yeah. Um, I actually, a personal anecdote, I almost bought a condo in Phoenix that literally would have doubled in value in the last five years. And obviously yeah. it got dramatically oversold because of inventory there, but I think yep. if you're an Australian millennial and this bubble plays out like we think it will, you're gonna get the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, the, um, the, the, only, um, the only caveat there is that, you know, one of the reasons, we mentioned this, but one of the reasons that the housing gets so cheap uh, is because underwriting standards get very, very tight. Yep. And so if you are sort of a would-be first-time home buyer, understand that you know the, the the other side of the coin is that it may become very difficult to uh, to get a mortgage um, and so if you're sort of thinking about that in advance like right now it's a great time to start putting away cash because on without a doubt you'll need to have a larger down payment uh, so you know that's one thing to keep in mind but for sure you'll get a great opportunity yep. Want more Hedgeye? Subscribe to Hedgeye Risk Manager, the holy grail of risk management investing tools. This deluxe suite of investing products includes ETF Pro, Investing Ideas, Market Edges, The Macro Show, Early Look, Risk Ranges, Real-Time Alerts, Plus, Macro Select, and our Quarterly Investment Outlook. Try Hedgeye Risk Manager today. Now for the low price of $24.99 a year.